Welcome to the to do's page. So here you can sort by title, um, owner, or my favorite, Dubai. Um, and if you do not have an item marked as done, you will see an over overdue marker next to the Dubai date here. But as soon as you or anyone does get that completed and checked off, you'll see that go away. When you click on these items, the details will open up to the right hand side. So you can always make changes to that due date, um, the team that this lives on, if you do have multiple teams in your account, and then also the free text sections. Attachments you can add here. This will just pull up your normal file management system with, on your computer specifically. And then if you'd like to add comments, um, you can do so right here. So let's type one in. In order to save it, this is the one section that doesn't auto save. Just press enter or use this comment button to add that. And it does date and timestamp for you and allow you to make edits and track when your edit was made as well. Up at the top here, you can see we have another indicator that it's been done or not done. So it's controlling that in both places. We also have the more actions button here where you can archive the item individually um, or make it an issue. So when you can make it an issue, um, it pulls up issues field, um, allows you to see the specific description title from that to do. Um, and then you can also assign the owner if you need to change the owner. Um, change the team if you would like it to be on a different team and then of course select short or long term short term being what you typically talk about in a level 10 and long term being what you see on the VTO. Once you save that it will go to your issues list and your to do remains here so you can create as many issues as you need to out of that. When you do the show a to do link, this is just so you can communicate with anybody um, outside of the system. So maybe you want to send them a Slack, an email, a text. You can include this link and when they open it, it'll open up this to do specifically for them. The final thing in this below section you'll see is this completion rate. So you can go through and see your completion rate for those items. As you mark things as done, that will automatically update. And all I'm doing is hovering over this. You don't need to click or anything like that. Once you've completed some items, you can go ahead and archive them. Like I mentioned earlier, um, you can use that individual archive button. And I just right clicked on this to do the shortcut to the more actions button menu right there. Uh, or if you'd like to archive all of your completed items at one time, just use this double check at the top. That'll give you this pop-up says you want to archive all your completed to-dos. If I say yes, it'll take off those three that we've already done. Great. And then if we want to go back and view our archive, that's where this toggle comes into play up top here. You would click that and it pulls up all of your archive to-dos. Then with your archive to-dos loaded, you can see you have edit or visibility access of these, no edit permissions. You can click on them. And if you do need to make any changes, you can always unarchive these options as well. Back on our main list, uh, the only two other icons up here at the top are if you need to refresh. So let's say another team member adds it to do the list and you want to refresh to see it on your screen as well. You can just click that and it pulls up your most recent list of to do's in your account. And then you also have the PDF option if you'd like to export this list to PDF. Let us know if you have any questions specifically. Feel free to reach out in our online chat and good luck with